Okay, so today you're going to get to go on a shopping spree. We're going to create an Excel spreadsheet, um, and you're going to use a spreadsheet to help you solve math problems um, so you don't go over your speed, your your spending limit, okay? So uh, we're going to go to Office 365 and click New Blank Workbook, and I'm going to do a, quickly, a quick review with you um, over what you've learned about spreadsheets so far. So spreadsheets are split up into uh, columns that are lettered, and rows that are numbered. The intersection of a column and a row is called a cell, and each cell has an address, the column letter and the row number. So this is D8, okay? Um, this is the active cell, okay? Um, and we have, uh, this is a workbook that you would name and save it to your drive. And this is a sheet, and you can have more than one sheet within a workbook by just clicking the, pre the plus sign there. Um, so let's go ahead, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a spreadsheet to keep track of your shopping. So I'm going to, um, you know, make sure that you save this as the correct name, and we're going to name this one Shopping Spree, and make sure that it gets into your seventh grade folder, okay? Um Okay, once you have it saved and it's in your seventh grade folder, um, you're going to go ahead and in cell A1, type the name Shopping Spree. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and fill everything else in. Um, and then in A2, we're going to type Money to Spend. Which is going to be colon... $100. And in A3, we're going to type gift recipient. In B3, we're going to type gift, oh, B3, sorry, gift recipient. Right here is B3, gift purchased and you're going to notice how this gets cut off we can make column a wider so we can see all of that by pointing between columns a and b we get the double headed arrow and we're going to click and drag and make it bigger so we can see all of that column heading i'm gonna to have to do the same thing for b3 okay and then c3 is store purchased from d3 cost of item quantity in e3 Total, subtotal, tax, grand total, and money left over. Okay, and I need to make all of these columns bigger, so I'm just going to click and drag and select them all, and I'm going to point between one of them, and I'm going to double click. And that, well, I guess I just made the one bigger. So I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. Oh, I did make it bigger for all of them. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and format these um, headings. So Shopping Spree is the name of our spreadsheet. And we have stuff or information in columns all the way from A to I. So I'm going to point here on Shopping Spree. And I'm going to click once and drag over to I for in row one. And I'm going to click Merge. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for spend money, $100, merge. Oops, I had too much selected. I should only have the row two selected and just over to I, or I'm sorry, it should be all the way over to J. Merge, and then I'll have to merge again. Um, all the way to J, merge, and then merge again. Okay, and then we want to make sure that... Um, we want to format our column headings, so um, we are going to um, we're going to bold all of these. So select them and click bold, okay? And then now um, before we get started to get this set up, I'm going to show you how to enter uh, formulas. So you're going to, on your own, you're going to figure out, you know, the gift recipient is who you're going to give the gift to. Um, what are you going to give them? Where are you going to get it from? 
walmart.com. So I might do this one, my dad, gift purchased shirt, um, walmart.com, cost of the item. I can go to Walmart and find it, but I'm just going to guess here and put 20. Okay, and I'm only going to get him one. Okay, and the total, you know, to find the cost of the item um, and the quantity, you are going to um, put a formula in there to multiply. So to put a formula in, the first thing you do is type equals, then click on the first cell that contains a number that you want to include in the calculation. And then for multiplication, it's an asterisk. And then click on the second cell that you want to include in the, in the calculation, and then hit enter. And then to get that to copy down, click on the cell. You can see the, the formula is there. And then point at the handle, and you get a big plus sign like that. Click and drag down, and that copies it down, okay? Then we're going to do, um, I guess, I think I got these mixed around. Um, actually, I'm going to delete column G. I don't think we need that one. Um, tax um, we're going to take the total that the subtotal actually this should be subtotal okay um, that was probably the total items purchased I bet um, anyway we're gonna go with this okay so quantity subtotal and then define tax tax is gonna be seven percent um, and actually I'm gonna click on tax and I'm gonna click up here and I'm going to type in seven percent okay and now I need to make that column wider okay and now to figure our tax we're going to go equal sign subtotal multiplied by one point or I'm sorry just 0.07 that's seven percent and hit enter and then now I'm going to bring that one all the way down to okay and now for grand total we're going to add these two together so to do that, equal sign this cell plus this cell and enter. And then now we're going to drag this down, okay? Um, and actually, for money left over, um, we are going to, I'm going to right over here put $100, okay? Um, and in this cell, we're going to keep a running total to see how much we have left. So to do that, it's going to be equal sign this minus this. And then that way we can see how much we have left to spend. Okay, now let's get the, I'm going to make this go all the way down. Make sure I get the big plus sign. Okay, um, and then um, cost of item, these are going to be dollar amounts. So I'm going to select those cells and I'm going to find the dollar amount right here. And I'm just going to pick um, English. And then the same thing for all of these. These are all dollar amounts also. So I'm going to choose that and click the dollar sign again. And now that's all formatted to be dollars as well. Okay. So then you can see, um, you can go ahead and keep um, purchasing. And uh, it's going to keep track of what you have left. Um, and actually, let's name this sheet. I'm going to double click sheet. And let's name this um Shopping $100. Okay. Happy shopping.